Hey strong people, Kale Beck here from startingstrongman.com and today I'm going to be talking about the 2020 World's Strongest Man events. This video is brought to you by Muscle Pirate. Go to musclepirate.com for supplements, sandbags, hurling bags, and a whole lot more. So of course World's Strongest Man was already scheduled to take place in Bradenton, Florida again earlier this year and then everything changed. Uh, so now it is set to take place November 11th to 15th in Bradenton, Florida. And I imagine now without crowds, but we're used to that at World's Strongest Man. And the odd thing is, is that this year I'd done a video previously and was contacted by the people at World's Strongest Man to share the news that there was going to be a new fan experience and it was going to be the first year in a long time that World's Strongest Man is set up uh, for the fans and not just for television. But I think the world decided, wait, you want to make World's Strongest Man for live fans? We can't have that. Unfortunately, this is the situation we're in. And I've already, uh, I kind of knew what the events were supposed to be back in like February or March. But now they're changed, and here we go. On to uh, the qualifiers. And of course, these are unofficial and very vague. They're just kind of like loosely what the athlete should train for. And they can change at any moment, just like everything else in Strongman. So take everything with a grain of salt. In the qualifiers, we have a loading medley, which means, you know, some sort of sandbags, barrels, kegs, whatever. Probably four of them. That's generally how it happens. A squat, a truck pull, a deadlift, log, and last man standing stones. We'll get back to the last man standing stones in a second. But I, I assume when it says squat slash deadlift, that's going to be one or the other based on the groups. Um, also, the loading medley could be slightly different group to group. That happens uh, sometimes. Even a truck pull. Some groups could get arm over arm. Some could get a harness truck pull with a rope. We don't know. But they're very standard events. And the one thing I'm seeing is I heard there was supposed to be a Viking press at one point and it just didn't end up happening, probably due to implement issues and uh, shipping them over there or whatever. Logs a little easier to ship than a big old Viking press. Uh, so... Pretty standard stuff, um, you know, for certain competitors, getting a deadlift or a log in their group is going to be helpful. And let's go to the last man standing stones. We saw it last year, how it worked last year, and I'm going to assume is going to be how it works again this year, is you have first place just automatically goes to the finals, then second and third uh, battle it out stone to stone to stone and that's how we saw Trey Mitchell uh, who was seven points I believe behind Novikov get into the finals because he is the absolute beast at stones and it really favors certain athletes that are just amazing at stones you know if you know you all you have to do like getting second or third isn't really any advantage in this scenario and it can really hurt certain competitors not a fan of of Last Man Standing Stones. It's it's a gimmick. It's for television. It makes it less of a real sport. Anytime you make any event matter more than all the other events, just no. Just do a stone run and let everyone do it. It works fine. Or just get rid of the qualifiers altogether. But that's for another video. <sighs> On to the finals. Again, these are very vague. So it says yoke slash farmers. So it could be a medley. It could be one or the other. We don't know, but we don't know how heavy. Uh, and all of those things matter on who would be better at, at the event, but there'll be some sort of moving event involve, involving yoke or farmers or yoke and farmers. A log ladder. This is slightly different and I like it a lot. You will see uh, ladders kind of got popular in CrossFit with a clean and jerk ladders or, or uh, just clean ladders or deadlift ladders, whatever. And it's basically you get the best part. You get like a max because it's not a repathon, 
but it's it's more visually appealing because they have to go from one to the other. So like let's say there's going to be four logs lined up. You have like a 200 kilogram log as the last one and starting at 160. So you go like 160, 180, um, you know, 190, 200 or 200, 210, whatever. Uh, and that's cool. I think it looks cool. Uh, people understand who was able to get to the last one, who wasn't, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm a big fan of doing it that way. Like it a lot. Good job. Keg toss. Again, great classic event. Uh, good throwing event. Good for people like Brian Shaw. We just saw Mateusz Kielczykowski just throw those things. They probably landed in Florida by the time that they, they left Poland when he threw them. Looking good. A little inconsistent on it but a lot of speed. So he's training that hard, and that's something we always see uh, Kieliszkowski do, is train um, things hard. Uh, some sort of deadlift. We don't know. Reps, max, car, whatever, but there's going to be a deadlift. And a Hercules hold. Another cool event, and this could really change things. Uh, we did see a static hold last year with the car hold, which kind of... Eh, you know, holding a car with straps, kind of whatever. If you're going to do it, just do a Hercules hold. And that they are doing that this year. Um, let's see if a wily Mark Felix gets into the finals and sets another world record. Haven't seen a Hercules hold in the final in a long time, I don't think. So, you know, getting a, a bit more old school strongman with a keg toss and a Hercules hold there. Then, of course, some sort of deadlift. Uh, and Atlas Stones. I assume some sort of series. You know, what What would World's Strongest Man be without Atlas Stones at the end? It would be Power Stairs when Vitatis Lawless just missed winning World's Strongest Man to Zadruna Civicus, and I believe that was 2012. But I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone will correct me. So, those are the events we're looking at. Nothing crazy. I think the biggest news is that there's a Hercules hold in the final that there's a throwing event in the final, which uh, could f definitely favor certain athletes, and that log will be some sort of ladder. Uh, with no Hafthor Bjornsson, you know, he's not competing, you know, he won two years ago, and he's probably never going to compete at Worlds again. Like, that got a little cringy on uh, both counts. There's some bad blood there, or maybe it's all for the boxing match. Who knows? He's not competing. Martins Lisi's recently uh, said that he is uh, focusing on the Arnold because he got hit by a car. Uh, he was pretty banged up and injured and got, you know, then was on a bicycle, I think, and got hit by a car and is just not going to be ready in time in a few weeks to compete at Worlds. So we have the past two, uh, World's Strongest Man not competing, and even the past three not competing because what would a Strongman video be without bringing up Eddie Hall. So, who does that, does that leave it open for a fifth Brian Shaw title? Or does that, uh, are we gonna get some some new person? We just saw at Europe's Strongest Man that, you know, with uh, travel restrictions and everything, you know, the, the field's not quite what we're used to, especially with, you know, a bunch of injuries and some retirements recently in Strongman, that we saw someone not many people would expect to win Europe's Strongest Man and Luke Richardson. Could we see Luke win uh, Worlds this year? So I'm going to briefly go into this. It's always when you talk about COVID and, uh, you know, flight restrictions and stuff, people get weird. But I think it does need to be mentioned because this is a factor. We saw it affect Europe's. Um, Right, you know, that not everyone wanted to travel, or even if they can get in the country, how, from what I understand is that if you travel to certain countries before you're able to go home, you have to do a two-week quarantine. Uh, and from what I hear, these countries need a 14-day quarantine outside of the country to enter the United States, that I think you have to quarantine again for two weeks to go back. Um, and those include Estonia, Iceland, Lithuania, Poland, Sweden, United Kingdom. So if we go down the list, that's half. And it, I might have got some of that stuff wrong. I'm just using this. I'm not, I'm not going to name every athlete that that affects. Uh, but 
because I don't want to, you know, like just put it on them. But if, if this is the case, and of course things might change by November, but November's not very far away and I don't think they will. Uh, that's pretty much half of uh, the unofficial competitors at the moment. So are we going to get a world's strongest man that is mostly um, Americans with whoever else from various countries ends up also being here or the people that can put aside basically a month of quarantine time. Maybe uh, IMG and World's Strongest Man are going to work with getting uh, some sort of exemptions uh, to let these people travel into the country. I heard the Olympia is doing similar, so let's hope that that is all being taken care of and that's the case and all these are moot points. But, you know, if we get that kind of thing... Um, you know, there's there's going to be someone on this list who's already unofficial who's not going to be able to compete because of uh, travel reasons. It's just, it's going to happen. Someone is, and pretty much within the United States, you can travel wherever you want. It's a free-for-all as long as you're here. Uh, so they're probably going to end up being a lot of Americans. Who's going to end up winning? How's this all going to play out? We don't know, but make sure to hit subscribe and any news I hear or any thoughts I have, I will make sure to share with you and you can let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.